Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my presentation. I am Azuddin Adwan, and I work at Palestine Technical College. My presentation is entitled Blood Pressure Monitoring Using Arduino Android Platform. This uh, paper is uh, joint work with Muhammad Abu Samah and Abdurrahman Sabah. So I will start with giving introduction first. This is my outline. After introduction, I will give problem statement, objectives, system elements, system implementation, results, and end with conclusion. Introduction. Nowadays, increased blood, increased pressure in the arteries is a common condition leading to hypertensive heart diseases and cardiovascular diseases. The first symptom of untreated high blood pressure might be a heart attack, stroke, or kidney damage. For this reason, it's often called the silent killer. Blood pressure measurement is therefore vital in the prevention and the treatment of such diseases, especially in hypertensive cases. So the problem statement we can formulate is that the conventional manual cuff-based blood pressure meters are hard to use by ordinary person and it needs, it needs expert to take measurements. The lack of these devices in most homes prevents many patients from checking blood pressure regularly. And the third part, which is the most important part, that we need open source blood pressure monitoring devices to be integrated with other medical devices, especially in this period as uh, this COVID-19 pandemic required ventilators and blood pressure measurement is vital in these devices. So having an open source blood pressure monitoring is important nowadays for functionality. Objectives. So in this work, we will develop blood pressure monitoring system that integrates the Arduino Opens as open source hardware microcontroller with Android smartphone. This platform can be used to develop and test algorithm for extracting blood pressure. So what are our system elements? Our system elements will be blood pressure measuring device and the mobile app and this mobile app is installed in a smartphone that is paired with this blood measurement device as we see here in this figure so let's describe the block diagram of our system we will have here we will have the microcontroller powered by power supply and inside this microcontroller there is a, an algorithm for signal processing and it has a digital converter that reads from the sensor the sensor here does not read directly we need to pump air and regulate the pumping with a valve for inflatable cuff and within this inflatable cuff there is a pressure sensor installed inside and because its signal is so small its voltage is so small we need an amplifier to amplify it so we feed we feed it to the analog digital converter and here on the right side we have a smartphone that is paired with this arduino via a Bluetooth module and we have as well an LCD display to display the measurement. Here this is the flow chart of the system operation scenario. First we have a button that for taking measurement so once this button is pressed we uh, start uh, the cuff inflation and then we read measurement for 
let's say 10 seconds and then we release the calf deflate it and take measurement again and process this data to extract what is called mean artery artery pressure and then display this value on LCD display and keep looping in the program the hardware circuit is composed mainly of the Arduino platform and this Arduino platform is interfaced with the pressure sensor and this pressure sensor needs complementary elements for example the operational amplifier and the Arduino regulates the inflation of the cuff via the valve so it controls the air pumping of the pump and this is the whole schematic circuit and here this is its uh, layout printed circuit which is implemented as printed circuit board and we put all those elements inside this control box shown in the figures here which is the final form and you can see the LCD display you can see the uh, printed circuit board the board the main board the Bluetooth uh, the sensors inside so this is our implemented device and here we can show the mobile app interface of the smartphone how does the system operate first we need the arduino to control the pump via the valve and to pump air inside the cuff so when this air is pumped inside the cuff we generate the pressure on the arm and this pressure is necessary in fact it is not the pressure that we need to uh, extract from it the pressure in the artery rather this is pressure in, in the hand so why we do we do so because we extract from it the uh, artery pressure by increasing pressure on the hand and when this pressure is increased we can see the heartbeat of the, uh, uh, the, the of, of the heart and this beating or this pulses of the heart we can extract from it the blood pressure value we need therefore a sensor piezoelectric sensor and uh, we take consecutive readings of this sensor at constant sampling rate during inflation and deflation we process this sensor measurement and we ext extract from it the uh, blood pressure value which is displayed on the LCD display here we should note that uh, the automatic or uh, the electronic blood measurement system as the one we implemented it, it measures only uh, mean arterial pressure and it does not measure uh, the systolic blood pressure or diastolic only manual devices measure systolic and diastolic blood pressure but this is not a big deal because what we are interested in is MAP and there are some algorithms which extracts systolic and diastolic blood pressure from the MAP. After getting the signal amplified during deflation period, we see the figure at the left and we see this is the the, uh, the pressure of the hand 
and it's carrying inside it as we see very small signal and this signal is the uh, heart beating or heart pulses so we need to extract the oscillometric pressure pulse wave for from the cuff pressure and to do so we need to implement finite impulse response filter and this filter is bandpass filter and it extracts the signal as we see to the right and from this signal to the right which is called the extracted oscillometric pulse and it's uh, as we see here it represents the uh, heart pulse signal we can find the mean artery pressure from this by finding the value where the signal as we see here at this point is at maximum amplitude the maximum oscillometric pulsation is the point where where we can find the map so from this we extract the map and also from the map we can extract the systolic and diastolic by finding the points here at point 6 and point 8 from this value reflected on this cuff pressure so this map here at this point is equivalent to some point here which will be the map pressure and systolic and diastolic are 0.6 and 0.8 of this value reflected on this curve we did experiment for five persons just to prove that the system works and we set our reference as the manual blood pressure monitoring device and we recorded from the blood pressure monitoring device systolic and diastolic and we computed from this systolic and diastolic the map it, here we took in this reference values as you see here as the manual device and we use this formula to compute the map which is approximate uh, approximation formula because it does not compute the map and when we compute the map we want to compare it with our device and we compare the map computed from our device with the map from the reference which is the manual blood pressure monitoring device and for five persons just to prove the concept we recorded tabul tabulated this data as shown here and we find the error it was maximum till six percent which is very good indicator considering that we used a very accurate manual uh, blood pressure monitoring device and we repeated this uh, measurements until we get a very accurate measurements of the system so here this is the data and we see in some cases we have error below one percent so the system works and we can extract and we can apply an algorithm we wish and we can even develop algorithms our own which what we will do in the future we will apply uh, for example Kalman filter to extract the blood pressure from uh, this uh, raw data raw sensor data conclusion we describe the development of an automated open source low cost system 
for blood pressure measurement to reduce difficulties that patients encounter while conducting measurements. As the system provides raw data, it can be suitable as experimental platform, as we explained, for developing algorithms, algorithms that extract the blood pressure value from raw sensory data. And the system we developed might fit dema demand for equipping ventilators with the blood pressure devices, and this device can be paired with uh, Arduino uh, and smartphone to transfer data for physicians for follow-up patient. Thank you a lot and I, will, I am glad to have your questions uh, directly after the end. Thank you a lot.